What's up guys and it's time to get ready. Samsung has finalized the design and appearance and configuration for the Galaxy S11. The biggest Samsung leakster Ice Universe reveals that Samsung has finally determined the design for the S11 as well as its configuration which could mean things like camera and internals. There will be three models. It's been confirmed through software leak. We're going to talk about that later. Now since Samsung has finalized the design and configuration we could very well see a factory CAD design leak for the S11 family via on leaks really really soon. As for the design which they have chosen, it's most likely going to be a punch hole design towards the middle similar to the Note 10 family but even smaller in size and also having a overall thinner bezels compared to the S10 family. The display is set to get larger as well with a new aspect ratio size of 20 by 9. So the screen will be large but the actual size of the phones will probably be around the same size as the Galaxy S10 family. But because of the big camera upgrades that we're going to see possibly a 5x optical zoom. The S11 and S11 Plus could be thicker than the last year's phone. Apart from the design, what you have to keep in mind is that camera is going to be the biggest upgrade on the Galaxy S11 family. Brand new sensor, a 108 megapixel resolution size, 5x optical zoom, a possible spectrometer, so many things are in the works. We'll see super duper. According to his findings, these all three models could be 5G. Furthermore, he found out the Exynos 9830 existence in the One UI beta code. The Exynos 9830 could be called as Exynos 990. We talked about its features, it's been officially announced. In addition to that, he also confirmed the existence of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 in the code, which means that there will be two variants of the S11 family as all always so Samsung will be using 865 for US and China markets. Samsung is also working on UX Picasso which is the software for the Galaxy S11 family so we could see some brand new changes in the software as well and Samsung is also working on the facial recognition as seen in these codes. Uh, most likely there will be no 3D facial scanner since we have the punch hole design. Instead Samsung will still opt for the 3D in display fingerprint scanner which is said to be even larger in size compared to the last year's model. Other than the S11 there has been some founding regarding the R5 code name it's said to be the Galaxy S10 Lite. It's going to use the same punch hole design as the Galaxy S10e in case you guys don't know. Samsung is working on the cheaper version of the Note as well as the Galaxy S10 family so we could see that in the future as well. Also Samsung's partnership with AMD is going strong. We're most likely going to see the first AMD powered Galaxy flagship phone in 2021. Now speaking of the software, Samsung has revealed some new features in the One UI 2.0 beta version second. So first feature is similar to the iPhone 11 which is the introduction of slow fees meaning now you can record slow motion front camera videos on your S10, S10 Plus, S10e and the Note 10 family. As reported by SamMobile.com you can see it looks very decent. Uh, it's pretty amazing that they enabled this via software and what's even exciting is the Chinese version of the One UI 2.0 beta. Apparently Samsung has added a 30 seconds long exposure mode along with ISO now up to 3200. All this is present in the pro mode and I think this is Samsung's try on competing with the Google's astrophotography and, and Apple's night mode so I can't wait to try this out with a tripod. In other news Samsung's upcoming 2020 mid-range phones could rock RAM size up to 10 gigabytes. The 2019 Samsung mid-range phones were some of the best Samsung mid-range phones and next year Samsung is bringing even more improvements in order to compete with the likes of Xiaomi and Oppo and Vivo. Their 64 megapixel camera sensor is actually really dope which I checked out in the Redmi Note 8 Pro. It will most likely be featured in 2020 Samsung mid-range phones next year. Also you might have seen this video of a case with a human skin. It's all over the social media in my opinion it looks gross but Samsung seems to be inspired by this idea. There's a new Samsung pattern that shows a case with human ears. Yes, as weird as it looks and sounds, Samsung has imagined actual ears on the east side of this case. Apparently the ears will have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack support and since they are such big ears you can like grab them while playing games. This whole pattern just looks so funny and weird to me but yeah, I mean, something like this could happen. I'm sure someone out there would love to have this masterpiece. Uh, let me know your thoughts about something like this coming to the market from Samsung. And that's about it for all the news. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.